guys. Today I'm covering a very important topic for any high altitude trekker. I would recommend watching this video all the way to the end because I'm talking about life-saving drugs today. We call them LSDs, life-saving drugs. Time and again we've seen that these three medicines have come to the rescue of trekkers even in dire situations of severe cases of AMS, HAEP and HAES. I'm talking about Dimox, Nifedipin and Dexamethasone. So in this video, I'm not going to give you a medical discourse on these medicines, but I'm going to share some insider observations that we've seen over the past 10 years of running treks in the Himalayas. I'm Swati from India Hikes and you're watching Trek with Swati. The first medicine we're talking about today is Dimox or Acetazolamide, its medical name. Now Dimox has almost become a household name and I'm not surprised because that's how important it is. You may know that we use it to prevent AMS and also to treat AMS. How it works is that it helps you acclimatize faster. It makes your blood thinner so your heart pumps oxygenated blood a lot more easily to your body parts and it also makes you breathe faster and deeper taking in more oxygen so it helps you acclimatize faster. Now when it comes to preventive course, trekkers always ask me you know which trek should I take it on, I'm going on this trek, should I take it? Well there's one thumb rule, just look at the altitude you're climbing to. Are you climbing above 12,000 feet? If it's a no, then you don't really need a course of Dimox. That is, treks like Kedar Kantha, Dayarabugyal, Deodhyatal, Brahmatal. On none of these treks, you need to go on a preventive course of Dimox. But that doesn't mean that you cannot get AMS on these treks. So you must always have a strip of Dimox with you in your medical kit. If you're trekking with India Hikes, of course our trek leaders have all these medicines in their high altitude medical kit. But you must also make it a practice to carry a strip of Dimox with you. When it comes to taking Dimox, trekkers have two major worries, so I'm just going to sort that out. First thing they say is it makes me pee more often. In the middle of the night, I might have to get up and go pee. Well, that's really not much of a problem, guys, because Dimox is a diuretic. It is meant to make you pee more often. That's how it works. You don't really have to get up every day and pee more often. It might happen once in four days, but that is okay for the benefits that Dimox gives you. The second worry that they have is that the side effects, you get a tingling sensation in your fingertips, maybe around your face. Well, what we've observed is that if you reduce the dosage of your Dimox, so we usually used to recommend 250 mg earlier as a preventive course, but now we've started recommending half a tablet, that's 125 mg. We've noticed that the side effects drop down drastically, but the effect of Dimox as a medicine to help you acclimatize, that doesn't come down. So you can reduce your course of Dimox, take 125 mg, every 12 hours as a preventive course but don't compromise on your curative course if you already have AMS then take Dimox as recommended we have a lot of reading material on how much Dimox to take when to take in the description below so make sure you look at those the second life-saving drug I'm talking about is Nifedipin now you may have heard of Nifedipin it is used to treat high altitude pulmonary edema or HAPE now when you have HAEP, there's a lot of pressure around your lungs. So with that pressure, there's a lot of fluids entering your lungs, making it very difficult to breathe. You're essentially drowning in your own body fluids and it's every bit as scary as it sounds. This is where Nifedipin comes in. It reduces the pressure around your lungs, stops those liquids from oozing into your lungs, gives you a lot of relief, lets you breathe and also gives you a window to get out of that altitude to a lower, safer altitude. It is usually administered in two stages. First, you give the patient a 10 mg dose along with Dimox if required and then wait for around 20 minutes to half an hour and give the next 10 mg. You're basically looking to see if the medicine is having any effect on the patient. Usually, you should see this effect in half an hour to one hour. You should see the patient feeling a lot more relieved to actually trek by himself and leave high altitude. There's one thing I've noticed about Nifedipin that worries me. A lot of trekkers, experienced trekkers and trek leaders often hesitate to give nifedipine to a patient suffering from HAEP. And that's not okay. 
what they usually think is that if the patient has lower pre blood pressure already this might be dangerous to him but that's a myth because nifedipine comes in controlled doses and you even administer it in controlled doses which is why i told you about the two stage process of administering nifedipine and if it's a case of hep it's already an emergency you have to choose between nifedipine and death so make a wise choice the third life saving drug we're talking about is dexamethasone or dex now dex is used to treat high altitude cerebral edema which is a fluid accumulation in your brain it causes bad headaches it gives you a loss of muscular coordination sometimes even hallucinations now how dexamethasone helps is that it reduces the inflammation in your brain reducing the water accumulation in your brain and it also is a steroid so it gives you a burst of energy in both ways it gives you a lot of relief and it gives you energy to get yourself out of high altitude it comes in small doses in our country in around 0.5 mg and you usually administer it in doses of 4 mg and uh, it's a steroid so you have to wean it off even after you start you have to continue the dosage and then stop it interestingly we've noticed that dex is also very effective in treating mild symptoms of ams we administer it in small doses along with dimox and the effects are very good there are also studies that show that you can take dex as a preventive course uh, to uh, prevent ams from happening so there are lots of studies going on about these three life saving drugs it's still a lot of work in progress because high altitude medicine has not been studied too much but what we know is that these three are life saving drugs at high altitude dimox is used when you have ams nifedipine and dexamethasone when you have hep and hes mostly for emergency cases let's hope you don't ever have to use them uh, all of these medicines there's a certain way of administering them you should know about it before you actually go about administering it if you're trekking with india hikes your trek leader will have all of these medicines and they are trained medically to use all of these medicines so any symptoms approach your trek leader if you are not trekking with trek india hikes then please make sure you learn about how to administer these medicines i've put in a lot of links in the descriptions there are also other videos that i've shared in the description below so make sure you go through all of that if you're going on a high altitude trek If you have any questions drop in a comment I'll help you out if you've had AMS hey please share your experience with us we would really love to learn from your experience uh, make sure you also share this video with others because we really want everybody to know about these medicines before they get on to high altitude So that's about three life saving drugs. If you have anything else related to trekking, make sure you hit subscribe because we are always talking about trails, tips, trek talk. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Make sure you follow us there as well. We'll notify you if we have anything new. I'm Swati from India Hikes and you're watching Trek with Swati.